Life is vibration in all its essence. It's a vibe. Life is a vibe. Hey, back with another video. Hey, hey, I just, <laughs> yeah, another video. <laughs> um, woo, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, it is a vibe. Life is all vibration, as we may know. So, I have a question. Have you ever communicated with someone without words? <laughs> exactly. Life is all vibration. It's a vibe. It's the vibration in all of its essence. Yeah, so with that said, man, life is so powerful. It's kind of fun to communicate without words. You know, you go to a party with your friend, you know, you got your girl by your side, your best friend, whatever. And it's these guys over there and they not even talking to you, but you can see them looking at you like they want to eat you. And then, and then, so without you talking to them, obviously, right, you give them a look. It's, it's that look and you know what's going on from that look. So you guys can look at each other and communicate. So if someone's looking at you and they feeling you, if you feeling them, you're going to be looking at them. Yeah, yeah, I see you. I see you. But if you're not feeling them, you're going to be like. <laughs> so it's kind of like to communicate with our words is funny. And it's natural. We can do that without even saying anything. That's that's amazing. It's also a vibration. It's also a vibe when you go into a room full of people who ain't positive. Nobody even got to say nothing to you. <laughs> you can just see and you're going to feel if you're going to stay in that room or um, time to go. This is the wrong room. <laughs> there you go. You can also tell when someone is like, let's say work, for instance, you have a boss that's so nice and sweet. Hey, to you, right? But when you're not in front of them or you're not around them, they got you can tell like it ain't all peaches and cream behind your back so you know that's what i mean it's life is just a vibe no matter what situation that you're in you can walk into a restaurant even if you don't see that a on the door you know you you can like look and see and smell and like get the vibe of the people who's serving you your food or whatever who's even taking your order like you can see what's going on a little bit in the back like you know you can see if other people is looking happy or they're looking like everybody looking like they got something to say about their food um i'm out of here like it, it's just everything is a vibration when you're looking for a car and you go from lot to lot to lot to lot talking to all these different people to see what kind of car you should get um i'm gonna go somewhere else to see if i can get a better deal or if i can get a better car like it's all a vibe and then by the time you go home you went to five different places or even 10 or however many you have in your mind which one you're gonna most likely call back and go back to and you have in your mind which ones you're not even worried about going back to you know you ain't going back to them to make no deal about no car so everything is like really a vibe and um i said that to say Life is beautiful. Life is amazing, right? There are certain things. There are certain things that you can do that can change your vibe from negative to positive. For instance, communication, communication, communicating with people, with others that you love, who you appreciate, who loves you and, you know, respect you, all that. Um, shopping. Oh, my gosh, there's a dog in my backyard barking. Messing my video up. <laughs> so shopping always put you in a happy good fun vibe you know um that that i don't know but i get a little adrenaline rush when it's time to shop time to spend some money let's go i'm about to get some clothes that look good on me these shoes about to look good okay i'm about to get this new jacket like what okay even underwear and socks be having me happy like so that's a vibe food certain foods that you eat can make you happy because if you look at something you know you don't want it but that's the only thing you have to eat you're gonna be like i'm just gonna eat this anyway but if you got something that you really want to eat you're gonna be like yes i want that and you're gonna be happy while you're eating it so food is even a vibe everything is really a vibe 
the weather. If it's all rainy and cold, it depends on if you like that or not. So if it's rainy and cold and you don't like that, you're going to be like, I don't want to do nothing today. But if it's rainy and cold and you like that, you're going to be like, hey, this is my day. If the sun is out shining, nice and warm, it's cold in the house, you want to go outside and get some sun or go to the beach or wherever to get some sun to soak up some of that energy, you're going to be happy. So everything is a vibration. Everything is vibration. It's a vibe. Everything is a vibe. The clothes you put on, I'll tell you a little story, real short, real short. I was in the fifth grade or something I can remember, and i always been tall all of my life. Both of my parents are pretty tall. i just been tall all my life, right? And so, as a teenager or whatever, as a kid, before I was a teenager, as a kid, I didn't... Now they have high-waist jeans, but back then they didn't have high-waist jeans. So I didn't understand why my pants fit me differently from the other girls. So... I was just struggling, like, I put my pants up so they could fit, and they're going to be, my ankles is going to be showing, or, like, do I pull them down a little bit so my ankles, so my pants can actually go all the way down, and then I'm sagging a little bit, like, and I just will wear big shirts, you know, my shirts would be huge going down, so that if, when I do sit down, ain't nothing hanging out, like, I was just feeling so awkward in my clothes, and I just felt like every day, like, oh my God, these kids are so happy. They look good and comfortable. They making these certain movements on the playground, you know, because they can do that. I do a move like that. My Everything is going to come out. Like, my pants is either going to, I was just like, what? So, nowadays I get dressed. I'm happy they got my high-waist jeans that I can fit real perfectly. I, do, I can't do the low-rise, obviously, because, you know, back then, I don't even know anything other than low-rise or regular but now they got the high waist. So every single pair of pants that I own for the last 10, almost 20 years has been high waist jeans. Our tights, sweats, whatever, you know, they, my jeans, my pants are high waist. Makes me feel comfortable, make me feel secure. I know everything is covered up and, and I'm confident in my jeans. Man, I love my jeans. So certain things that I wear now, Compared to when I was a kid, I feel like so happy for that they didn't created it, that they didn't came up with it. Maybe it was always a such thing of high waist jeans, and I didn't know about it, you know, as a kid. I don't know. But so, the clothes that you're in can make you feel either comfortable or uncomfortable, happy or unhappy. It's just so much thing. And pictures that you can look at, anything, anything, everything is a vibration. Everything either going to put you in a happy mood or a sad mood. So, just wanted to say that. Yes, it is true that you can put yourself in any vibration that you want at any time, anywhere, any place. It don't even matter. You can just do it. Um, a shower, nice warm shower when it's in the wintertime because ain't nobody taking no hot showers in the summer, okay? But in the wintertime, a nice warm shower just puts me at ease or even a bubble bath. Like, it doesn't even matter. That stuff feels so good. You can just think about all your goals and dreams and aspiration in life at a time that you're feeling so good and you're making that become a lie and then you know eventually it's going to connect and it's going to plug in together and your dreams and life is going to be happening unfolding right before your eyes so when you feel good take good advantage of that think about your goals and your dreams and aspirations in life um you're helping it come alive it's almost like you're growing it like a seed in the ground you're growing your ambition in life and it's gonna grow and it's gonna you're gonna and it's gonna show <laughs> and you're gonna see it you're gonna feel it you're gonna be able to smell it you're gonna touch it it's just gonna be right there coming coming and growing and growing over time over time because you're keeping it alive with your thoughts but feel good about it though don't be stressed out about oh i got these goals but i need this first i don't know how i'm gonna get this no when you have your goals and aspirations in life think about it as if it's happening already but when you think about it feel good as if, you know, just be in a good state of emotion. Be in a good state of mind when you think about your goals. And if you got to be stressed out about something, don't think about your goals when you're stressed out. Just don't even try try not to even be stressed out, ever. You can always do anything to put you in a good mood. And it's all about being in that good mood because you're better off to figure out situations and to get through problems when you're happy and in a good mood. Now, example, and this is real, this is true, we all can relate to this. Let's say you fight with your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your husband or wife or whatever, right? You shouldn't make a decision when you're mad. But then the the, situa the situation when it happens, whatever decision that you was gonna make when you was mad, you don't make it, right? You think about, oh, I'm about to do, I'm about to do something. I'm about to just do it. I'm mad. 
F that, whatever, right? So when you actually don't do that and you calm down first, let a few hours or however long go past, you get back regular and you think to yourself, what was I thinking? I was going to do that. That would have ruined my whole entire life. I'm so glad I didn't do that. Make decisions when you're happy or when you feel better. Don't make decisions that's like pretty tough, pretty harsh. Don't do that when you're not in a good vibration because it's only going to go for the worst. It's only going to, you know, so yeah, <laughs> try to make decisions when you're happy, when you're feeling good, because then you get a better outcome, period. Period, period, poop. Period, 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 poop. Some people even have um, emotional support animals to put them in good moods. Um, you know, different activities. You can do anything at any time. Some things, if you stressed about something, oh, I don't have money to do this, I don't have money to do that. Well, you may, this may sound crazy, but try it and, and don't knock it until you try it. But if you don't have money to do something, I, it's always a time when you have time to yourself where you won't be disturbed like when you're praying right so you can take some time to yourself to close your eyes and to imagine what it is that you just want to do in life don't even worry about oh, I don't have the money to do it just imagine yourself doing it anyway just you know have some time to yourself close your eyes and just picture yourself going skateboarding or driving a Ferrari or going to Six Flags Magic Mountain like Whatever it is that you want to do, just picture yourself doing it, going shopping, spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on shopping in a week or in a day or whatever, you know, just picture something. And when you picture it, you're going to be feeling good. Like, yeah, do that every day for five minutes. Just, you can even set an alarm clock, two minutes, however long you can do it for it. Just try to do it as much as you can each and every day eventually you're going to be able to do it something is going to work its way out because the universe is alive the universe is energy we are energy we connect with we're here on earth and it's all energy when you think about things that you really want to do in life and it makes you happy and you do that every day eventually you're going to be able to actually do it in real life and and the money is not going to be a problem it's just going to be able to just happen that way maybe you'll be out shopping and you meet a friend and then that friend is going to be like hey i'm into the i'm into the same thing let's go you got no money, I don't care, let's go. It's, it's always the, the right place at the right time. You meet someone or you be in a situation that's that's going to help you. That's going to be there for you because it was meant, everything is meant to be, right? Everything happens for a reason, right? So keep a positive mind. Keep a positive attitude. Energy is real. Energy is strong. Energy is alive. We are alive. Live and breathe for the energy. Watch it grow. Yes, watch it grow. So the choices that we make in life also has a lot to do with our vibration. If you make good choices in life, you're you're most likely have a lot of good stuff going on inside of you to where you're making the right choices. But if you make bad decisions, you're thinking about some bad things. You're thinking about negative things. You have some negative emotion that's inside that you just need to release if you want, if you want, if you need, you know. So keep that in mind too. Of course, with this subject, with this topic, I can go on. Anybody, everybody can go on and on and on about vibration because it's literally everything that we see, that we feel, that we touch, that we... <laughs> it's just everything. Energy is everything. So, I'm going to end here, of course, because I can go on and on and on. I know y'all don't want me to go a few hours on this same topic, do y'all? Because I can but no, nah, I ain't going to do that. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Of course, you'll always see me again. I love you guys. God is love. God loves you. You love God. We are all a part of God. That is so happy to just know that. Like, wait a minute. I'm a, I'm a part of God? His creation? Are you serious? Yeah, exactly. So imagine the power that God put within us off of the fact that he made us alone. Okay. So, y'all see me in my next video. I'll see you guys later. I love you guys. Bye.